What's up guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to work on our Honda Civic. I'm going to do some exterior mod on this Honda Civic and finally, I'm going to work on the rear end. So I have bought some LED tail light to replace all this halogen tail light. So it's not the bulb, it's a whole assembly of the light. So it's going to look very nice. Let me open the box and show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. There's a thank you card from the seller, which we don't need it for anything. So these are the section which goes on the trunk lid. There's a two of them, for one for left, one for right. Some wires. And the whole tail light, as you can see. Let me just remove the cover so you can see properly. I think, I believe it looks like this. So it's a dark, looks black and this is for our right side It looks nice, it's a smoke dark lens It looks much better than our OEM halogen lights I have bought these LED tail lights from the Amazon. I will put the link in the description so you can check out the product. Uh, they are not cheap like other mods we are doing, but uh, it's worth it. It looks much better than this halogen stock OEM lights. I, it cost me around $350. And uh, for installation, it will be really simple. We don't need to do any drilling or anything extra on the car. Just remove the OEM lights and then we go to install the new LED lights. So let me show you guys on the left side and then I will do on the right side. So I am doing a whole civic modification on the outside and as well as inside in the future. So if you don't want to miss out any of those videos, please hit the subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon that way whenever I will upload the new video you will get the notification and you can watch that video. So let's start installing our tail light and then we will go from there. So for the installation, we're going to start with the removing this light from the trunk lid. So we have to open the trunk lid for that. So let's open it. And it's going to be very simple to remove it. Let me show you guys. So this is the part which goes on the trunk lid. As you can see, there are two screw parts which are right here which are accessible without removing our liner but there is one more we have to remove the nut from here too to remove our original light and which is hidden behind the liner so first thing we are going to do is remove the liner by removing all the tabs all around so I am going to show you how exactly we are going to remove the liner so use your tool Lift the top part of the clip using the tool and then once it's lifted, you just pull it out just like this. And that's how easy it is. 
So I'm going to remove all clips all around the liner and then I'm going to remove the whole liner off. So to remove this light, we have to use the 10 mm socket. I'm using it with the impact driver. You, you can use whatever you have with. And uh, remove these two screws. And there's one more inside straight from here. We have opening. Let me show you guys exactly where it is. If you can see right there, that's the one we're going to remove from inside. So remove that one and then this two. Now, before we remove the light, we have to disconnect the cable. So let me see. Okay, so let me show you guys which one is the cable. If you can see this white connector, that's the one which we're going to remove. So we are just going to push the pin and disconnect. And that's it and then we have to remove this clip so push in just like this maybe we need more tools it's not gonna be easy let me put the camera on the side There you go. And that's it. So now it's time to install our LED light over there. It looks nice. So finally our light is installed using the three screws all around now we have to connect all the wiring harness so there are two wires coming from the new light let me show you so this is the new one it comes with two different connectors so the white one that's the one which goes to our original stock wiring harness and this one this is to connect this light with the one which goes here that way it will be synchronized in the lighting. So it comes with this long cable, which will connect this light with the one goes here. And from the stock, you can see, see this pin. We have to remove this pin. So we can install that one on our new light and we can clip onto the body. So let's do that, install all the wiring and the connecting wiring from this light to this light, I'm just going to run through all this wiring and then it will go inside here. And I will connect that one once we connect the new LED light over here.
To remove this light, we're going to use 8 mm socket and remove these two screws. And after we remove those two, we have to pull the light out this way. Once it's out, we're just going to unplug all the connector and that's it. And then we're going to install all our new light with the, all the stock connector back to the new light, install it back, and it's good to go. So guys, I have removed the two screws and removed the light. We are not pulling this way. We are pulling away from the car on the other side. So hold from here and from the bottom and push out. It should be this way, not this way. Now I'm just going to disconnect all the pins, connector, whatever we have. And then we're going to transfer our new light. So this is our new light, as you can see, it looks like a connection of the bulb. So what we have to do, we have to remove all the conne bulb connector from the old light, remove the bulb and transfer those connector over here, put this one inside and screw it on our bulb connectors. So let me show you guys. For example, this one we're going to turn it anti-clockwise left and out that's our bulb and then we're going to remove the bulb from this one so pull and the bulb comes out so as you can see see our connector looks like exactly like the bulb So now I'm going to connect this one to this leg, put it inside like it's a bulb and then turn it clockwise and that's it. I'm going to do same thing for this one, this one. There's one connector which goes straight to our wiring harness so we don't need to worry about this. And this connector is the one which connects to the wiring of this light. So let's install all the wiring, install back the light and we will check out the light, how it looks. So before we install the light here, we have to run this cable up to here so that we can connect the light. To do that, we have to drop down this line a little bit. So what I'm going to do is remove all the clips, pull it down. That way we have an excess of either this one or this one and then bring the cable out from there. So for this extra cable, I use the small factory grommet. I drill the hole inside and bring the cable out from there. And to make sure it's a watertight seal, I put some silicone around it. So it's going to dry and make it waterproof tight seal. So let's install our new light, put all the connector, put it back everything. But before that, I might clean this area because after I put the light, I will not have a proper access. So I'm going to clean it and then install the light and we will check out the light, how it looks.
so this one is black this one is regular red and let me turn on the light and let's see how it looks nice So now what I'm going to do, arrange this cable with all this cable goes around. I'm going to use some zip tie and make it nice. So it will never come on our way or stretch or something when we open the trunk lid. And after that, I'm going to completely install on this side and I will show you guys how it looks on the both side. So let's installing this cable properly and then work on the other side. So there you go guys, our lights are fully installed and looks amazing, it's much better than OEM. It's a nice black tinted and it's a LED which looks much better than our halogen bulbs. So let's finally check out both lights, I'm going to turn on and see how it looks and that's all gonna be for this video. So let me put the camera in the middle of the car so you can see how it looks. To install this light, it was very simple, just you need few tools, remove both light, replace with the another one, install it, super easy. So the box didn't came with any instruction manual, but it was super simple. By looking at it, it's easy to figure out how to install it. And uh, as you can see in this video, it was there was nothing to drill or anything like that. So, which was much better. So, I will put the link in the description for this product. It's an expensive little bit, but it's not expensive as my Mustang tail light. They were around like 700, 750 bucks. The, this one, 300, 350, weigh half of the price of the Mustang. 
much cheaper on the Civic. But both have different cars, looks differently, different price. If you have any question regarding installing this light, please leave the question below and I will try to answer as soon as possible. So that's all gonna be for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe and bell icon. That way if there's something new on our Honda Civic or any other car, you don't miss out any video. See you next time.